good afternoon. Well, accustomed to I am and famed for using sesquipedalia within the house, I'm here to bring you an alternative to the alternative Christmas speech, which I gather is a rather left-leaning thing put out by Channel 4, which, well, they would, wouldn't they? I do this in no way to diminish the words spoken by Her Royal Highness, or as I hear the modern term is uh, cast shade, rather in the interests of a competitive free enterprise providing a slightly more upmarket product for the classier customer. As stated, I have the greatest of respect for Her Majesty, but with all the slings and arrows of her outrageous fortune she suffered down the years, many of them anus horribly, many thanks to her family, well, she's become all a bit, well, um, ITV. No such trouble for me as I have no family and have to therefore shift myself in the uh, scandal starting stakes. So I speak to you now from Forsetshire Hall, joined by my faithful liege, Big Ted, who for once isn't toy voyaging and is home for Christmas. Say hello to the cameras, Big Ted. Oh, hello. Okay, this might be a little too much excitement for the young fella, so uh, let's pop him back down here on his own stool. I've already given the customary alms to the local yeomen and farmers who form part of my very large estates um, with a customary seasonal gifts. I hope that the traditional offering of some oranges and a few walnuts hit the spot and that nobody was expecting something as extortionate as state-of-the-art tillage equipment. Unlike on Comic Relief, these can't be purchased in this country for a mere £25. I'll catch up with them all on Boxing Day when I'm scheduled to judge some duck herding, along with Big Ted here, who is frankly the brains of the outfit in that department, aren't you, old sport? I do seem to have a rather lot of these. I mean, one, two, um, three, um, quite a lot. I wonder if I can help use them to relieve the national debt. Who knows? Christmas is a time for parties and revelries, but I should just like to point out that in no way was I involved in party gates. I... I wasn't invited. No, I spent last Christmas here with Nanny, Fig Ted here for company. We had excellent fun playing tiddlywinks, which I won by the way. Uh, many due to a bit of sleight of hand, but uh, don't tell Nanny that. <laughs> I hope, if not already, you will be enjoying a bountiful belt buster blowout of a Christmas meal today. I myself enjoyed a delightful din din, including salmon, pheasant, figgy pudding, stilton, and because I'm very greedy, some cheeky chocolates I uh, scoffed beforehand. And Nanny was quite wrong because it didn't spoil my appetite, although I am very greedy. Yum, yum, yummy in my tummy. But please think of those who are unable to take partake in such delights. Supermodels, persons with eating disorders, vegan influencers who tout their trade on Instagram. Silly billies for the most part, of course, but also the homeless. I often think of the homeless at this frigid, gelid time of year as I sit by the fire here at Vortisha Hall, feeling very smug. I, I, I mean, snug, snug, nice and cosy. Now, some have suggested that I invite a number of them in, and this is something I have reflected on at length, but here's the thing. The place is out of the way. It's highly unlikely they could make it here, at least of all at Christmas, when there is no public transportation running, particularly not around here. It never stops anyone showing up after the uh, nowhere on the popular soap operas, nor indeed in biblical literature. But there was less unionisation regarding public holidays at that direct juncture, at a times all around, I'd say. Additionally, this place is part owned by the National Trust, and I doubt their trustees would uh, feel very keenly about some trampy sort dossing down in the bed of my ancestor, 
Sir Fotherington Thomas's erstwhile leader of the Bortonshire Hellfire Club, where he allegedly, allegedly consorted with many specimens of Harris's list. A rather unsavoury list of uh, ladies of the night from the Georgian period, for those who are ignorant of this uh, rather lurid publication. So no dogs on strings types here, I'm afraid. Get yourself to a soup kitchen or take benefit of the monies being raised by Radio 4 for the same homeless charity they campaign for each year. Clearly not very well, or they should not have to keep so doing continually. And does no other charity get a look in? Is this something for the Monopolies and Mergers Committee to be investigating? Besides, which are there no prisons or no workhouses? Hang on! Who wrote that bit? I mean, obviously, I know it was originally Dickens. Even I know there are no workhouses anymore. More's a pity. Should we do a comeback? Now to address the members of the Empire. <clears throat> now the uh, uh, Commonwealth. To you, I wish you well. To members of the erstwhile Common Market, better known as the EU. We are now shot of you, and good riddance to that rubbish. <laughs> Absolutely, we are yet to eradicate the scourge of German markets. Uh, good for the economy, we're led to believe, but I can't see how. All the money spent go to the oncoming immigrants and visitors to the towns and cities that host these incoming marauding market traders. Tend to flock to that alone rather than spend in local businesses, probably because they're too skint to spend elsewhere afterwards. I'm also obliged to send Best of cheer towards those governed by the devolved administrations. Oh, there's, there's something in here that I take to be their native language, but uh, many apologies. Uh, no way, unfortunately, am I going to be able to get even my silver sesquipedalian tongue around what I suspect is Happy Christmas in those native languages. Also, I suspect whoever typed up this auto cue may be trying to play me for a fool or a knave and have typed something either blasphemous or profane, hoping to cajole one into an insult. <clears throat> Christmas is, of course, a time for children and big kids. Don't you agree, Big Ted? Yes, he does. And he'll still get into trouble if he doesn't. But it's down to somebody else, happily time their paternity leave to coincide with this that I'm standing in. Are you watching this, Johnson? It's also a time for gifts, so here you go. Catch! Have a vaccine. Have a booster. I've had two, because as stated, I'm very greedy. I'm paying. Although not with my money. Good Lord, the very thought. Your money. I suspect I'm not allowed to say um, engine gift, so we'll say give a thing, take a thing, wicked man's plaything. Give the people who claim they don't want one an excuse. They ran out. But now I think I'd possibly better scoot. I, I, I suspect Nanny is caught. Ah, yes, I can hear Nanny calling for me. I suspect she, what well, I suspect even, uh, she wishes for me to get cracking on my thank you notes for my own game including this very newfangled calculator purchased for me by some of my treasury colleagues who were probably irritated by the noise my trusty old contometer mate. They'd better not try and claim it back on expenses because this is a doesn't make any noise. Mm, it's a bit light. Mm. Hopefully it's just stuff we pay for what. Anyway and with that Best off, I leave my filibustering and wish you a Merry Christmas, one and all. Now how, now how the hell do I turn this, this blasted thing off?